so this is my last of my basil, which is pretty much over. And I grew it in this box in the summer because the slugs in Ireland love basil. So I'm weeding this out. And then what I'm going to do is those geranium cuttings in my last video. I'm going to put them all in here. Are you trying to help? Uh, yes. Are you trying to help? You beautiful kitty. Yes. Such a helpful gardener. Yes. So I'm pulling the... Oh, ow. This, he crawled up my leg. <laughs> you crawled up my leg. Good thing I have thick coat and sweater on, isn't it? <laughs> so this is what happens when you have a cat who likes climbing on your shoulder as you're gardening. Isn't that right, kitty? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. You're such a kitty. You're such a lovely kitty. Okay, I'm going to get back to doing my, uh, pulling my basil tray apart. Oh. I've come into the vine house and to do my geraniums because I finished the basil tray and himself has stayed on my shoulder. Haven't you? You beautiful kitty. So I'm going to sit down and are you going to stay with me as I said? No, you're going to jump off. There he is. Isn't that right? Yes. You beautiful kitty. Yes. You beautiful. You beautiful. Oh, you're going to sit on my lap, are you? Okay. <laughs> you're such a helpful cat with geranium cuttings. <laughs> okay, so this tray had all the um, basil in it and I've pulled it all out. The geraniums, as you saw earlier, they were in this jug empty. I forgot to put water in it. So this might not work because they spent all last night here in the vine house without any water in them. So, and I forgot to take the flowers off. I did a whole bunch of disastrous stuff that I forgot to do. So let's just say this is going to be an interesting experiment. So it's been soaking for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes while I've been doing this. And um, so what I'm going to do is take out, that's a long one you can see there. And I'm going to break off the flowers and I might break this in half and take off most of the leaves and make two out of this. We'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, you're gonna help too. Of course. Most helpful cat. Look at this. So helpful. <laughs> oh, don't go dig your claws into my thighs, into my legs. Okay, I'm gonna start doing these. Oh, I wonder if I can put the phone. Let's see. Oh, let's see if I can put the phone here. Will that work? Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take my glove off. Okay, so this geranium, I'm going to take all the dead leaves off, snap off all the flowers. There we go. Now, there's actually right here, if you look, there's a branch off this one. So, what I might do is take the cutters and cut right there. Then I want to get rid of a lot of these leaves. I'm a very lazy gardener, is all I can say. Not good at doing lots of cutting. I just tear them apart. I'm brutal to my plants. Okay, and then I will start shoving them in this end. And I'll work my way across. This was a lovely, I love this hanging geranium. Now here again, there's a divide. Chop the divide. 
Get rid of the dead leaves. This has a, ow, don't do that. You're really being rude. Okay, whoops. This is another geranium. Put that there. See, what I figure is the more I do, the more likely one or two will um, survive my brutality. And then them will be very hardy plants. So you got there now. And so the hardier the plants, the more likely they are to survive is my very inelegant philosophy. Okay. And there. So I'm just going to keep doing that. I don't think you need to see me videoing a vi video of me constantly doing that. But um, there's the cat. He wants to go out. Are you going to go out? Are you coming in, Maya? Maya, are you coming in? <laughs> An exchange. So I'm going to continue doing my geraniums. But now I have a canine helper. Isn't that right? I've got a canine helper. Oh, yes. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Oh, look. We're getting on our lap. So we go from having a cat helping to a dog who's very keen to help. Aren't you? Yes. A very keen helper. Yes. So here are my geranium cuttings. Now, whether they work or not, we won't know. But I'm giving them a chance. They came from this hanging basket. I trimmed it right back. And it has a lovely red geranium that hangs down. So I'd like to have more for next year, etc. This geranium I don't think will last. This is a red geranium. This was two years old and I neglected to cut them or rather propagate them. Um, it's from a, a friend of mine who died. I inherited a lot of her pots and she mostly had red geraniums. So it's kind of sentimental why I didn't trim them. And there's another one. I have a whole series of her geraniums. Anyway, we'll see if these take or if I neglected them too much. I poured a load of water in there and tightened it all down around all their stems. So fingers crossed that red geranium takes off and I make more of them. Isn't that right? Yeah. And it's raining outside, even though the sun's shining. It's a monkey's wedding, raining and the sun shining. <laughs>